Hey everyone, it is Matt with another Jeep JL product review. This time we're in the back of my two-door Jeep JL Rubicon, and I wanted to show you this new mat from WeatherTech. I just got this this week. Not sure when they hit the website, but I know that I was looking for quite some time to find a solution to what I needed. So first off, it's traditional WeatherTech fare. Um, similar thickness to their floor mats, obviously the same material does have cutouts for the, the rings, as well as a cutout ready if you have the um, subwoofer uh, that mounts in the storage space. Um, still complete access to storage underneath, and it does not interfere with my um, rear table. So that was one of the concerns I had. What I have been doing up until now was running with the rear seat out, and I had made a mat that I'd cut out of some heavy duty carpet that would enable me to basically use this as a truck and cover all of the carpet in the back. Problem was when I would go to put the seat back in to all passengers or uh, for, for sound deadening, I now had to remove that mat, put it someplace, and then I had effectively had a second mat that I would put that was just cut to this size. Uh, so uh, looking on WeatherTech's site, I found this and it has a rather clever feature for the two door. And that is when you put the seat down, this actually covers the entire space. And so it actually goes underneath the front seat. It had these cutouts already milled and removed, but it does give you one continuous floor coverage now uh, for storage. Now I personally run this uh, cargo mat so that I can hold, or cargo net so that I can hold something down if I need to. Um, I will tell you that from WeatherTech, these had to be cut out, but those were already cut. Now in the WeatherTech pictures, they actually show those as being covered, but I will tell you that it will not fit. You can see right there, the hooks actually go above the uh, mounting points. And so uh, just be aware if you're looking at the WeatherTech site, you're going to see a picture with these filled in as well as those filled in. But this, it's going to come to you with all four of those cut out. Anyway, super happy with it. The fit and finish, as you can see, sorry for my shadow, typical WeatherTech. Uh, it does fit almost perfectly. And one thing that I do like is when you do have the seat in the regular position it does come out about an inch maybe an inch and a half from the front seat so there's a little ledge there that you could throw a hat maybe stuff a small jacket uh, and it would stay in place uh, underneath the front seat so again got this from WeatherTech. it was around 109 dollars. obviously the install uh, was super simple again as i always say i'm not sponsored by WeatherTech. i uh, just like their product and wanted to let you guys know how it fit and worked in my vehicle have a great day, guys.